If the sun ain't shining, it is in here. It's sunflower day. <laughs> welcome to Sunday, welcome to the weekend. Uh, and I hope you're happy it's here. Um, how are you doing? You okay? I hope so. Right, big thank you in the shave, because I'm using it more or less straight away, to uh, Stephen Scott. Yet again, I must have more of his razors than he has himself. <laughs> Many thanks, Stephen. Good grief. He's bought the Ming Shi 3000S. You see that? Um, he said, it's not for me. Would you like it? And phew, is a Pope a Catholic? Um, funny enough, uh, I, I wondered about, a few people asked in the comments a while ago, uh, have you thought about getting the Ming Shi 3000S? And I'd not thought it's an adjustable. And I'd not thought about it. And then I did think about it. I thought, I don't know. Um, and then, of course, I forgot about it. And then Stephen came up, uh, asked Mrs. H, actually, and uh, kindly offered it. So I'll look after Stephen. And we're going to give it a go today on three settings. Um, good way to it. Nice uh, grip here, sort of knurling in the middle. And it's lined as well. And you twist this bottom piece to uh, twist to open. It is an adjustable uh, razor. And we're going to use the Gillette Super Class um, or Super Stainless Spoiler Blade. Fifth use. Um, so we place it in. While that's open, you'll see, hopefully, I've already set it to its highest number nine. Now you can't go past that. It won't go. So it goes up to nine. And it locks on its minimum of one. So uh, we'll close the doors. Everything works nicely. But it's brand new. Um, now. This thing here. Let me just show you this actually. This uh, adjustment. Adjuster. Some click. This doesn't. It's just smooth. And as you can see. It just goes. It locks. And it's on uh, setting nine. So there we go, that's his most aggressive setting. Make sure it's uh, that's tight, yeah. So there we go, we'll give that a go. Many thanks, Stephen. Uh, shaving soap I've not used for a while. I like to go back into the den, shall we say. First Canadian barbershop taper fade. Now, I don't think they sell it like this now. I think uh, they sell the barbershop, but it's in a different container. It may even be a new formula, I don't know. But it was good soap, this. Uh, I'll put a link to their site, but as I say, it looks a different uh, tub and different design now. Um, brush, my own, Paul H. Synthetic, this is a cashmere synthetic. These have all gone now, apparently. Well, been gone a long time. Um, so if you had one, I hope you're enjoying it. Um, there may be another. Um, well, I've got more brushes from DS Cosmetic, they arrived. Three new ones, um, different handles, obviously, and there may be a, another one she was going to do with my name on it, so we'll, I don't know, we'll see. We will see. I think I'm yet to pick a handle or something, but we'll see. Okay, <laughs> should we get on with it? I've, I have bloomed this, and I'm going to use it as a pre-shave. Yeah, it's a nice scent. I think there's a combination to make this barbershop scent of tobacco, uh, bergamot, patchouli, and a few other things. That's nice. Okay. You having a main shave today? A sort of weekend shave? Your shave? Relaxing shave? <laughs> okay, we don't need to uh, soak this synthetic, obviously. Give it a bit of soak in there. Soak it in water, I mean. We'll see how it does. It's a sort of a Crope, that's not a it's not a cream, it's not a soap in a way, it's a soft soap if you like. But people call it a crope. 
handy this handle to put a bit of force in there. There's a bit, um, the sun's gone. It's still quite humid, but the sun's disappeared. It's quite cloudy. We've had a few showers, nothing major. That'll do. We'll add some water to that. Nothing major. Um, my first tomatoes are showing. I got a couple, I think now, which isn't a lot maybe, but it is. It's nice to see them starting. Uh, six or seven chilies, and one has just ripened, turned red. If I can film a bit, I'll just put a clip in of the of the one chili. Beautiful. I've had this soap a while as well. Wow, look at that. Thick and creamy in two minutes. Pre-shave helps. Using the water as a pre-shave. We'll see how this performs. Clear the old... God, you're messy. Look at this. Well, at least it's only soap. Okie doke, so the Ming Shi 3000S adjustable razor. Uh, I'm not sure if I can supply a link to this, I'll have a look, but uh, if I can, I will. Um, it's on its most aggressive setting, it goes from one least aggressive to nine most aggressive. We're on nine now, and we're using the spoiler blade, Gillette spoiler, fifth use. Here we go. See, it feels smooth. It... Wow, straight through it. So, it doesn't, I wasn't sure whether it'd feel aggressive uh, to me. Uh, we're on the first pass, so I'm going to hold judgment slightly, but because um, it can change. But at the moment, you see, but this blade has a habit for me of toning, it's toned down the R41, the Merca Future. And in my eyes, if you can, if a blade can tone down the R41 or the Merca Future, then you can plat sand. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Now obviously this is a, it's a good looking razor, it's a good way to it, it's built nicely, um, but you can tell it's not used, it's not been made of the best quality materials obviously, but it's, it's good, it is good for what it is. And so far it's holding up, there's no looseness, nothing's coming loose, I always keep, keep checking this on every razor I use that's adjustable, or twist to open I should say, but uh, so far so good. And honestly, this blade is not showing any <laughs> I would never say that's been used five to, well, on the fifth time. Maybe the phantom blade stropper is back. comes in the night The other uh, Ming Shi I have is the 2000, the um, Merca Future clone. 
and um, that is very very similar to the to the future in weight uh, you can't even really tell the quality difference um, really heavy very nicely done how they've done it but um, you know if a Merca Future was out of your depth because they're about 60 70 pounds to buy uh, maybe you get an offer sometimes in, in the 50s but um, usually they're that price and um, you know these Ming Shis went anywhere near that so uh, it was very similar for me that's a nice scent that barber shop scent it can't be too good. and it's um it's been made that soap on the the scent from the 60s and 70s in barber shops uh, like it said on their website when d razors were the only way to shave then you know there was no uh, multi blades and all these things that's a good first pass that has taken most of it off and it didn't feel uh, aggressive uh, it felt just nice but the blade does that as well so it may feel a bit more aggressive than it did with another blade but uh, very nice so we'll open the doors I always do and we'll bring it down now to number we'll go between three and four we'll go to number four so just under half, halfway, just under halfway, nice and tight. There should be enough uh, soap in the knot, added water, and it should explode. Good knot for holding lather this and, and releasing it fair play. Absolutely. Well, it's Sunday. Well, we know it's Sunday. So what are we having for dinner? Hmm? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, we're having lamb chops, loin chops. You've guessed it. <laughs> they were on offer. <laughs> and uh, cross the growth now, second pass. Ming Shi 3000S, adjustable. Nice. Very slick soap. And as I say, I've had this a while, this soap. So much so they've changed the uh, the design and the, um, maybe the formula, I don't know, but the design of the soap, tub's changed. Yeah, lamb chops, Pembrokeshire new potatoes, beautiful Emma, leave the skins on, just wash them, um, excuse me, well I just do that, uh, there is actually, before we come back to shaving, a slight overhang which I didn't think there would be in this I don't know why but it just looked big enough to not have one but it has just slightly um, yeah roast lamb loin chops steamed Pembrokeshire new potatoes broccoli and that's it except for Lashentos of gravy homemade gravy again and um, mint sauce on the lamb oh yeah well I'm across thinking of food soon I'm forgetting what I'm doing yeah so it'll be very nice and we're having a pudding or a dessert afters sweet whatever you call it which is going to be rhubarb crumble which I'll make I've been given a uh, some rhubarb from one of my colleagues very kindly and uh, I was given some two days later by a person on the round very kindly so we've had stewed rhubarb with cream so we're going to have now a, 
a rhubarb crumble so it's only the rhubarb stewed as it is add some sugar and then um, put the crumble mix on top in the oven it goes crispy golden brown and then it's nice put some in a bowl with some uh, custard beautiful Don't normally have them um, put in like that, but or sweet, whatever you call it. Try doing it's uh, gifted like that, or homemade. Wow, that's a slick soap again. Not a strong scent, but it's presence is nice. That's a nice. Uh, so far, so good this shave, because as I say, I've never used, owned a Ming-Chi 3000S. Um, I'm not sure what other people think of it. Uh, not seen many videos on it, actually. Well, I haven't. So it's not going to come into me to, <laughs> to see my videos, because uh, I don't get time to sort my own out. That's lovely. That is nice. Very smooth and slick. Third pass. We'll take it, we'll open the doors. We'll take it down, I think, to... I'm just using it as an adjustable, trying it out. We'll try this mildest, number one. There we go. Everything's working as it should. Um, I've just added water again to this. Anybody in Canada worth trying this? All the states as well. Well, anywhere you can get it. Worth a try this. Very nice. They do other. I think I've got one that's called uh, something Cuba, is it? Yeah. I'm sure I've used that. There we go. Ready? Number one, Ming Shi 3000S against the growth. Yeah, much milder on that. So the shorter strokes are better. You having the day in today, if you're off, you're home, family, cooking, out for a meal, out to the cinema, out to family, Barbie. It's so mild that number one, we're skimming because the soap's so slick. Back and put it up to number two. It'll do it, but it's uh, well, we'll see. Number two. That's a bit better. No. Much better. So this works for me, I've just found out really, well this type of soap is very slick. This works better for me on a higher setting. So I'm going to take it up to 5. I know it's going higher than the three, 
uh, four, wasn't it, I put on. Much better. I can, it's that slick, I can go over this again. Now, now I've done the three passes while we're on the third. It does feel more aggressive now, the blade tones it down as I say, but that it, you can feel an aggression, but it's not what I class as aggressive. Um, to me, like the future R41, that's aggressive. But this is, um, you know, it is aggressive, but it's not in my terms. That makes sense? I hope so. It is, if you want to compare it to one of the sort of gen, uh, general Gillettes, adjustables, um, it is more aggressive than them, but not on the lower settings. I'd say from four up is best for me. Well, in this shave, because this soap is so slick. It was having the job sliding over, so it would prefer a wetter lather. I could have wetted and really made it sloppy or whatever, but I like it a bit thicker. That is it, lovely. What time is it now? Ming Shi, three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. And it is a 3,000, three, two, one. <laughs> right. Oh, somebody asked in the comments, what's this pickup time? Somebody asked again. It's that, pickup time is the pickups. So we do three passes. Um, and then it's a case of going over, especially on the neck area for me, little bits you've missed. You can feel rough patches. Just just trying to perfect the, the, the BBS, if you like. Um, but the trouble with that, as you'll see in many of my videos, um, not so much lately, but it does happen. There is a dot there. You can overdo it and you get little nicks. You're overdoing it. But to get the best, you've got to be a pest. <laughs> right, here we go. We'll hear it. And we're still on setting five. Here.
if you're new to shaving I wouldn't might I wouldn't advise doing pickups let your skin adjust and I wouldn't advise doing three passes really if it if you feel pain stop doesn't mean you'll never be able to do it it just takes time for your skin to adjust and for you to sort of like riding a bike hold the blade and hold the razor naturally and whatever feels right there is a bit there we're going to use alum today alum so we rinse, cold rinse as usual And we go straight in with the old alum. We'll say hello alum, yeah, the same old joke, yeah. No irritation. Sometimes you'll have a good sting from this. We still leave a couple of bits there. That's it. That'll help if you have any nicks. If you have any nicks, you'll know about it. Rinse off again. Another cold one. And I think with using alum, if you had any slickness, you've got nothing now. <laughs> Feels lovely. Okay. Right, barber shop scent. So I thought this is lovely stuff. Um, we're going to use the classic barber shop scent by CAD. Cease and desist. Um, aftershave by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Lovely scent and it lasts. Absolutely lasts, this does. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love this scent. Good soap as well. Lovely. And then to put the protection back, we're going to use the old L'Oreal Men Expert Hydra Sensitive with a soothing birch sap with a no alcohol colorant and used for sensitive skin you get this in the well supermarkets i haven't seen it in some of them but um, you can get it i think the home bargains or b&m them type of shops savers maybe yeah that's nice hey eh? good And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So many thanks again, Stephen, for this. I'll look after it, I'll use it, and cherish it. What do I think of it? Would I have bought one? Um, probably yes, after shaving with it. Um, this soap is quite slick. And for me, especially with this blade, it does tone the razor down a bit. But the setting one to three uh, struggled a bit. Uh, yes, you can use a wetter lather and all that type of stuff, but uh, it'd be interesting to use it with another blade, with another soap, a thinner soap. But um, three, say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, would be okay for me. The better end of the shaver, the razor, shaver, razor. Uh, I like the fact it's adjustable. It's a good grip on it. There's no problems with it. Um, it worked well. Did the job. Well, you can see. Can't argue with that, can you? Um, soap, loved it. Love this soap. First Canadian barber shop. Um, this one's called Taper Fade. I think it's just called Barber Shop now. 
And the Ming Shi, funny enough, I've shown the box, haven't I? Yeah. It uh, came in this as well. It comes in this plastic, some horses or something on here. Yeah, loads of horses and you can pick them up. Um, and a pack of Ming Shi blades. So it comes nicely packaged. So many thanks, Stephen. Spoiler Blade by Gillette. We've used that. Fifth use. There's no signs of it toning down yet. The Paul H. Um, cashmere Synthetic Knot Brush. We've used, what have we used? Cold Water. We've used Alum. Many thanks, Alum. We've used the CAD Barbershop Scent Aftershave. And that was it. Oh, and the cream. That wasn't it. And the L'Oreal Men Expert. Lovely. Hydrosensitive. So have a great Sunday. What's left of it? Um, and great shaves, of course. Yeah, and stay in good health. Happy if you can. And positive in this mad world we live in. Good job it doesn't stretch into the wet shaving thing. We'll have to make sure there's no negativity at all in here. This is our this is our time in it to forget the world in a way and its troubles. So um, have a great weekend. Have a great start to next week. And look after yourselves. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave when we're going to use the Global Shave Dual uh, Comb Razor. All the best. Take care.